What's going on, everybody? It's him. That's right. It is your boy, Trey Sense. If you've been around a little while, LL Cool Trey, uh, Trey Belafonte. Listen, got a little bit of a review, a little bit of a discussion for you today on the channel. We got a tag video, a tag video. And before I even get into the title of the tag video, <clears throat> like, share, and sub. Please, we're trying to get all of my videos to 75 likes, so please smash that like button. Your like may be the one like that gets it to 75 likes. And um, what we're going to do is a tag video. Now, the name of this video is Men Lie, Women Lie. The reason I'm calling it Men Lie, Women Lie is because the topic of this video is very simple. I picked three. You can, uh, all those that are going to do the tag, and I'm tagging my boy, Sam Broom. I'm tagging my boy Razor Ramon the Barber. And I'm tagging Manuel from Manuel's House of Aroma. Now, the gist of this tag video is this men lie, women lie. And it's just a play on words. But the topic of this is three men's fragrances from my collection that men love and women dislike. And three fragrances from my collection that women love and men dislike men lie women lie and i'll elaborate a little bit more as i go into it but no further ado let's get into it let's start out with fragrance i'm going to go back and forth i'm gonna do one for the men and then one for the women or one that men love that women dislike and then vice versa let's get into it all right Man, I got some, this this, this going to spark some discussion, I think. The first fragrance from my collection that men dislike, dislike, our frag heads dislike, don't wear it anymore. They'll say it's dated, it doesn't smell good or whatever, but every time I wear this, I get a compliment from a woman. Women seem to like this scent profile. I think it's good. I think it does well in the summertime year-round type of fragrance. People say stuff like about it's generic, it's metallic, but it's inexpensive. It smells good and it works good from the house of Azaro. Can you guess which one I'm going with? And that is none other than the legendary Azaro's Chrome. I understand as, as frag heads, we only want the newest, the latest, the greatest fragrances out there because there's something new and blah, 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 and all these different gourmands and all of that but so I get that a lot of guys won't wear this anymore but when I tell you that women like this scent profile I'm telling you listen to me now believe me later on men lie women lie this is one of those fragrances that men have turned their nose up at put the bottle down they don't wear it anymore but I, I promise you wear this around some women and see how many complicated compliments you get men lie women lie this is one fragrance from my collection that men absolutely turn their nose up at. especially us cologne reviewers us us frag heads we won't wear this anymore but women love it so this is one that men hate but women love and now keyword this is just based on my experience okay if you wore this and somebody told you you stunk, it is what it is. But in my experiences, and all six of these fragrances, it's based on my experiences, on the experiences that I've had with them. But this is one that I think women absolutely love and men have put it down and don't mess with it anymore from the house of Azaro. It is Chrome. One fragrance <laughs> that men love and Women just don't really seem to care for it that much. And again, this is based on my experiences from the house of Mansara. And it is none other than red tobacco. And I am talking to myself. I love this fragrance. But when I've worn this fragrance around women, they say it's too strong. It's too spicy. It's a bruff. It irritates their noses. It's just too strong. It's not a come cuddle me scent. It's not. This is one you should probably wear if you're going to a hockey game or to a football game at night and it's in the fall and the winter and it's outside. This is not one that you should probably wear anything indoors where you're going to be in arm's reach of anybody. It's just super nuclear. 
Do I like it? Yes. I think it's unapologetic. I think it's man juice. I think it's in your face. I think it smells good. And I like it. Oh, man, it smells so good. Can you tell I like it? I do. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I do. I like it a lot. And as usual, if you want five mil decants of any of these, hit me up for a nominal fee. I will hook you up. I normally ship the same day. Um, but Mansell's Red Tobacco, this is a fragrance that a lot of us men love and women just don't really care for it that much. Now, again, this is based on my experiences. So don't come, you know, if, if you wore this and were told 75 times how wonderful you smell, congratulations. I have not had that luck with it. Anytime I wear it, it's been, well, it smells well. Doesn't matter. I wear it anyway. I wear it for myself, especially when it's cold outside. The colder, the better. I'll spray this on and I'm done. And maybe I shouldn't be going four sprays of it, uh, but I like it. I like it a lot. From the house of Mancera, it is red tobacco. That's a fragrance that men like. Women, not so much. Moving along to another fragrance that I think, and this is more so an entire scent profile. And I'm using this one for an example. Another one from the house of Mancera. And this is a perfect example of a fragrance or a scent profile that women really dig. That a lot of guys stray away from and are scared of. From the house of Mancera, it is Oud Exclusif. And this is the perfect example of the type of scent that a woman likes. And again, don't come for me. This is just based on my experience. Yes, it is strong. No, it is not as strong as red tobacco. And it's a different type of strong. Oh my goodness. This, because they mix in a little, I think Mancera does oud better than anybody. They mix in just a hint of citrus with the oud and this just comes across as really, really clean. This is not the animalic. Oud. I can't say that women really like the animalic oud. I can say that my ex-wife smelled a lot of animalic oud fragrances that I had and she loved them. She loved them. Now, this is a, a cleaner oud, a more dressy oud, a smoother oud, and it doesn't matter what oud fragrance I wear. If I wear a fragrance that has a nice oud note in it, I get lots of compliments. That's just me whether it's um, Gucci Guilty Absolute or whether it's, uh, oh, what is that? Niche Oud by Armoff, I mean, or John Varvatos Oud. I get lots of compliment. Or Dunhill, what is it, Icon, Absolute in the gold. I get tons of compliments when I wear those. Women will sniff and just go, Smells good. Even I wore uh, Oud Exclusive to the barber shop, and my barber was like, man, that smells good. So I even hooked him up with a little decant of Oud Exclusive. Not Oud Exclusive, niche Oud, but we're talking about Mancera's Oud Exclusive. And this is just a great, great fragrance. Can you overspray this fragrance? You can. Is there a right time of the year to wear Oud? People get mad at me when I say this. I think you can wear Oud in the middle of the summer. Do you spray 17 sprays of it? No, you go three to four sprays at best. Strategically placed, go chest, back, wrist, wrist. And you're good. Chest, back of the neck, and both of your pulse, pulse points. And you're good, and you're good. And listen to me now, believe me later on, you will get compliments on this. And you can definitely wear it in the cooler weather, but you have to realize Oud is a note that's used in most Middle Eastern fragrances. And guys, they don't have a summer. They have a few months where it gets cooler, but most of the year there it's hot. So why would they make a fragrance that they can only wear two months out of the year? They wouldn't, just saying. But from the house of Mancera, it is Oud Exclusive, and this is representing one of those fragrances, uh, more or less a scent profile that us frag heads tend to stray away from and are intimidated by. I just don't want to wear it because we don't think it smells good. And it's really, an appealing fragrance and in my based on my experience it smells good 
it does smell good and I get a lot of compliments and I'm basing this on you know again I've worn all of these fragrances that I'm talking about to work and I'll never forget wearing Dunhill Icon Absolute to work and a young lady was sniffing and she just kept sniffing and she goes somebody smells really nice and clean and it was Dunhill Oud exclusive and then as she got closer she goes that's you that smells really nice I'm Oud, it, it could be me it could be me it could be me Oud works well on my skin but I think it'll work well for anybody, but from the House of Mansara, it is Oud exclusive. I like this fragrance, I like it a lot. That's representing a fragrance that women like, men not so much, but the ladies like it. Men lie, women lie. This next, These next two, it's gonna cause controversy no matter which one I pick up, but it's just the truth. And again, this is based on my experience. This is a fragrance that us frag heads and and, and cologne connoisseurs love. It's revered in the fragrance community. It's been labeled the best cheapie ever made and all kinds of stuff. And I have worn this fragrance multiple times and I've yet to have a woman tell me I smell good wearing this fragrance. And it is from the house of Nautica and it just gave it away. And it is none other than the infamous, the famous Nautica Voyage. And you see the levels on this bottle. I ain't got no compliments wearing this. I've even had one woman tell me she she didn't she couldn't stand it. She's like I can't stand Nautical Voyage. Now she was a fraghead myself herself. I don't dislike it. I think it's great in the in the uh, spring and summer in the hot weather. I think it's a great cheapie. I think it's one that everybody should have in their collection. But this is not no head turner. This is not a fragrance that you're gonna spray on and drive ladies crazy. It's not. It's one that you're gonna have to wear for yourself. It's a very likable fragrance. It's an easy to wear fragrance. I do think it smells good. I've got the old metal cap edition. I've had this for a while, but again, it's not one that you're gonna wear and people just go, ooh. Or at least, again, this is based upon my experiences. If yours are different, congratulations. Hip, hip, hooray, three cheers. Hip, hip, hooray. Uh, if you're old school, hip hop hooray. Something funny about my old high school, and this is just story time with Trey. And it's just to tell you the kind of high school I went to. We were, you know, everybody got along, surprisingly. In between classes, we'd be walking to class. You know, of course, we'd be walking to class hall packed with people, and that song, that chant would break out. And we just walking to class, hey, ho, hey, ho, just going to class. But you know, it's another story for uh, another story for another day. Hip hop parade. I miss the '90s. Hip hop was good. Fashion was good. Everything was good in the '90s. But anyway, Nautica Voyage. This represents a fragrance that us frag heads like, and based on my experience, women not so much. Not so much. Men lie. Women lie. Now this third fragrance. <laughs> Again, so many of you guys would not touch this fragrance with a 10-foot pole. But when I tell you, when I wear this fragrance, I get compliments from the ladies. And again, this is just based upon my experiences. Don't come for me. Don't get mad. Don't get in your feelings. Just take it like it is. This is my experiences from the house of Yope. And you already know, it's that infamous red motherfucker. Shut your mouth. Jupe or yo. And this is an older batch. I now have a newer batch thanks to my cousin. But this is an old batch. I've had this thing for years. And you see that juice is just a little bit darker, a little bit different. It's almost more of a brown than it is a red. But this is the type of scent. As soon as it hits your nose, you know it. You know it. And I dated a chick one time and she was obsessed with this scent. Obsessed with it. And when I wore this around her, she could not keep her hands off you, boy. I'm just saying. And I wore this to a club. Probably, let's see, this is 2023. This is before I got married. I think I had met my ex-wife. Maybe we were on a break or something. And I went out with my cousin. Rest in peace, Nardo. He's no longer here. He and I had went out. And it had been a while since I went out. I forgot the clubs had went smoke-free around here. So I wanted to wear something that would cut through the smoke. So I wore this. Very attractive young lady. The first time she walks by, she stops. I promise you guys, she stops dead in her tracks. 
And she looks around and she says, somebody's wearing jupe. She looks around and she keeps going. And we're nowhere near each other. She's a good 10 to 15 feet away. So I may have sprayed it on a little thick, but she's across the club. Again, it's smoke free. So she comes back through again and I'm standing about in the same position and she stops again and she goes, and very attractive lady. And she said, my God, somebody smells so good. Somebody in here is wearing jupe. She didn't say somebody is wearing whatever. She said somebody in here is wearing jupe. Those were her words. And she stopped and she looked dead at me and she said, it's you. Can't make it up. And I just smiled real big. And of course she came over there and smelled your boy. And she was a little bit younger than I, you know, cause I was in my thirties at the time, early to mid thirties, mid thirties, mid to late thirties. I was probably about 35. So, and what did I have on? This right here. I mean, it, it's, it's a compliment puller if you wear it correctly. Now can you spray 15 sprays of this on? No, but again, much like the red tobacco, can you hit yourself four times with this? and pull it off, yes. If you're gonna be inside, I say two to three. Maybe chest, neck, and then maybe one wrist. You know, I say I say four to balance it out, so maybe you wouldn't wanna go to the chest, maybe, maybe wrist, wrist, back of the neck to get three in. Or if you've got a nice full beard, uh, maybe go wrist, wrist, beard. And I know you're probably thinking, eh? but if you if you keep your beard moisturized and conditioned, you're gonna have a little oil in your beard, and this just gives it something to stick to. Fra Believe it or not, fragrances stick to hair pretty good. This saying, but um, yeah, this is one of those fragrances, and I get it. It came out in the, maybe the '80s or the '90s, and it's 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 very nostalgic for me. It just reminds me of being in high school, going on dates with my little yeah yeah, my little boop thing. You know, it just reminds me of that. But nonetheless, it smells good. And it's one of those fragrances that us ragheads are not going to wear. We're not going to touch it. And women love it. Women love it. If you wear this properly, I don't think anybody's gonna tell you that you smell bad wearing this. I just can't see it. I've never had it happen. I've only had good experiences and I've only been told how nice I smell when I wear this. And again, it's one you can't go overboard with the sprays. You can't spray 60,000 sprays of this. Two to three at the most, four, if you're gonna be outside all night and that is pushing it, you know. It also reminds me for some reason of the Christmas holidays. I think it's because as a teen, uh, my mom, my parents got me this a couple of times for Christmas, jupe and night flight. So I love jupe night flight. That's one of my favorite fragrances of all time. But Nonetheless, jupe. This is one that I think men, us frag heads, do not mess with anymore. And I think we should, because I'm telling you, women like this. Men lie, women lie, just saying. This last one is probably gonna cause a lot of controversy. Many people call it the king of fragrances. I don't. I call it the king of, at one time, it was the most cloned fragrance in the probably entire world, the hemisphere, the universe. Um, does it smell good? Yes. Do I like the scent profile? Yes. Have I had a lot of compliments on this fragrance? I don't think any time I've worn this fragrance have I ever gotten that you smell good. I just don't. I've walked by some people and they talk, and I've heard people whispering, ooh, somebody smells good. But this fragrance was one of the most hyped fragrances ever. Old school reviewers, when this fragrance first hit the scene, or at least when I first started watching reviews, people would talk about, oh, gotta have it. And again, um, I didn't buy it. I never would have bought it. My ex-wife purchased it and surprised me with it. And it is, in many circles still revered as the king of fragrances. It's definitely one of the most popular fragrances ex other than Baccarat Rouge 540. It's from the House of Creed. And it is nothing other than Aventus. I think this is one of those fragrances that was pushed by Fragcom. Many reviewers in Fragcom liked it. 
talked about it, loved it, and they talked about all the compliments that they got off of it and this, that, and the third. If I'm being honest, I've gotten more compliments out of uh, Man Intense than I have this. If I'm honest, I got more compliments before it went bad. Now my bottle went bad. Insurrection Pure, too. I got more compliments off of it than I did this. Just saying. I got more, oh, you smell goods from that than I did this. I do not know why. Now, to be fair, I'm one of those guys, I love the scent profile of this. And this is a different batch. This is an old uh, 4.2 ounce bottle. So this batch is older before Creed sold their soul and watered their fragrances down. So this is a more potent batch. I haven't sprayed this in a long time and you smell it off that nozzle and it smells good. I like it. I like it a lot. <sighs> it smells good. But if I'm being honest, if I'm being 100% honest, this is one of the most overhyped and one of the most unnecessary fragrances in Fragcom, in the history of Fragcom. Yeah, and I think it's been hyped by us guys. I don't think women like this fragrance like that. I just don't. I could be completely wrong, but in my experiences and all the times that I've worn this, I've never gotten a crazy reaction or anything like that from this fragrance from the house of Creed. And it is Creed Aventist. And again, this is an older batch. This is the from it's in that 4.2 ounce, 120 mil bottle. So it's an older batch. And I just haven't gotten I hadn't gotten a reaction, and yes, it's it's real. I got all my documentation, all my stuff, all you know. It, it's what it's supposed to be, but it's just not. It's not, um, in my opinion, or it hasn't been for me, just a head turner of a fragrance, or one that just just garners a lot of compliments from the ladies. It hasn't. I get asked about it all the time, though. It's two fragrances that people always want to know about. Bargain Rouge 540, anything from Creed. People just associate that high price tag, or Tom Ford. People associate those high price tags with better fragrances, and that's just not the truth. It's just not. It's, it's just not, you know. Hate to tell you, it's not. A fragrance is a good fragrance if it's a good fragrance. If it's stout, if it's strong, if it performs good and lasts a long time, it's a good fragrance. I don't care who makes it. Right, that's just Treyway. Um, now, with that being said, I'm going to get off of here. And again, Sam Broom, you're tagged. Um, Manuel from Manuel's House of Aroma, you're tagged. Um, Razor Ramon the Barber, you're tagged. D. Da Vinci the Poet, you're tagged. Anybody that sees this video, if you want to do it, feel free to do it. I think it will be fun. I think it may make you think a little bit about your fragrances because especially those of you who have wives or significant others, I'm sure there's been fragrances that you sprayed on and think, this stinks, I'll never wear it again. Walk into your living room, get ready to go, and she's like, oh my God, you smell so good. And you're just like, early, early. Or you spray something on and you walk out the house like, I know I'm the man. And then you just like, you ain't, you ain't gonna say nothing? And then they look at you like, it smells okay. And they're like, okay. This is perfumes the Marley. This smells good. And they're like, so anyway, yeah. If you see this and you're a reviewer, open tag. Just do it. Knock yourself out. All I ask is that you mention me when you do the tag. That's it. But anyway, I'm gonna get off of here because it's been a long day at work. So I'm gonna get off of here, upload this video. Getting ready for you to see. Hope everybody is having themselves a beautiful, beautiful week. My Irish was off this week at my Niners, man. <sighs> chitty, chitty, bang, bang. No, my Niners took, a, took another L. But anyway, I'm still 49 again. But anyway, I love you all. And may God bless you all. Oh, always look for the email in the description. TraySense at gmail.com. If you want a sample of any of this. I will give you a five mil sample. Now keep in mind the niche fragrances are going to be a little more expensive, especially this Creative Interest. If you want to decant of that, I will sell you one, but it's not going to be cheap. 
It's just not, you know, it's not in my Denzel Washington voice. It's not going to be cheap. It's not going to be cheap. You want it. If you want it, you got to pay for it. You want it, you buy it. You got to pay for it, you know, so it's not going to be cheap, but you know, we can work out some anything. And same thing with the man service. I won't hit you too bad on the man service. But if you if you want a decan, if you want a if you want a five mil decan of this of this Creed of Venice, you gotta buy it. So, but anyway, I love you all and may God bless you all. Again, open tag. If you see it, you review it, you want to do it, do it. Holla at your boy. Thank you all for being the best part of this channel. And I love you all and may God bless you all. Till next time, guys. Peace.